I'm on the air. Hey, am I on the air? Yes, hello. Hey, it's uh, Ramon, Bold Like a Leopard. Hey, what's up, Bold Like a Leopard? How you doing, man? Pretty good. Um, remember the Mattis file story that I posted for your uh, website? Yes. Yeah, the um, people who were uh, defamed by MSNBC or whatever? Yeah, so we actually, me and a different YouTuber, uh, Adrian Lloyd, also known as Just My Stupid Opinion on YouTube, uh, we got an undercover call with uh, the journalist, quote-unquote, John Mattis, and we got him basically to admit that he was a mole for uh, David Brock's super PAC. Wow. Okay, so... Okay, and so what What did they do? Did they admit to it? What did, what did who do? The mo the... Well... We, we had him on for 45 minutes, Adrian called him, and um, we were basically trying to grill him about the real details of the story, because first of all, the people from San Diego that he uh, basically shared their information with Rachel Maddow, and she printed their names, she actually showed their names on screen. Right. Uh, I contacted almost all of them, and they won't corroborate a story. They're actually real people they're real Bernie Sanders supporters. Two of them were DNC delegates who I've had on my show two times. So, and then I had the actual group founder. Uh, she was on my show last week when we were talking about the undercover call. Um, so, uh, essentially, none of them have corroborated his story. And he's he actually, he claimed in his, in his uh, conversation on the phone with Adrian that he was never, he never claimed he was an administrator. This isn't, I mean, in, in about four or five articles where he's quoted, it says that he administered the group. So, you know, he never made an effort to correct that on their part. And as somebody who's who, who made his whole case complaining about fake news being shared on Bernie Sanders forums in order to smear Hillary Clinton, uh, he probably should have done that, especially if you talk to these journalists. And then he also, he said something funny. He said uh, he believes that the U.S. media is good because it's being monitored. So th th this is because uh, the guy that, uh, Adrian, who, who was calling, he's from Canada, and he was, he was calling under the pretense that he was concerned that the Ontario elections next month are going to be hacked by Russia. So, you know, we got him to basically show that he's pretty much a pro-deep state fruit loop. Uh, also... Beyond admitting that he was in daily contact with David Brock's organization, which he said explicitly at the end, he said daily contact. He said that he was in touch with somebody from the national security uh, apparatus of the Obama administration. So whether that's true or not, that's what he says. Interesting. So, so do you know what he like what his job in the organization was like i mean uh, what i mean how, how does it how the, does it in the bernie sanders campaign no, or is no it like in, with uh, brock like what brock. like yeah i mean how how does that did you get any like insight on like how it works like i mean because uh, there's so many things that uh, w whether it's bots or infiltrating uh the, the different uh, groups and I mean Brock is one of the propagandists that they completely ignore and act like he doesn't exist he doesn't do anything wrong correct the record doesn't uh, engage in 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 propaganda they claim all that type of shit happens on on the conservative side uh, I'm just like he he wasn't really like uh w was he leaking or he was just kind of like how, what was the angle? Like he was whistleblowing or it was just more like you, you were kind of having a conversation to, to more draw him out? Well, we were having a, an angle to draw him out. He was not, he was not revealing and he still would not reveal that he was, you know, a hundred percent spying on the Bernie people. He was, he was doing it from an angle of, oh, I was serving the, the interest of protecting the elections from Russia. Okay. So this oh, wasn't a confession. This was this was him. This was him blurting something out, some details that he didn't want to blurt out. 
then he wouldn't he wouldn't have blurted out if he knew our, our real the, the real interest of the story the, the interest of the story that we gave him was that you know adrian was afraid that the ontario elections could be infiltrated <laughs> you know that's i mean uh, who cares? i see right, you know, right. The, the liberals the liberals are going to lose anyway over there uh if, if you know anything about that one but the fact is that he um the other people the people that have been um trying to get set the record straight the real bernie sanders activists uh, who I've talked to, and you know, there's about five now, who have all said that he deceived them, that he did not let them know that he was in contact with um, American Bridge 21st Century, which which is a, a different pack of David Brock's. It's not the same one as CTR. Okay. Um, and I, I have been trying to contact AJ about it. So if, if you can mention it to him, yeah, I think it would be of particular interest to him. Um, but the fact, and I did have Jamal Thomas, by the way, he interviewed uh, these two people, uh, Joanne and, uh, no, sorry, it was Josephine and Jim, the two delegates. So um, I am trying to get a lot more coverage of this. Uh, it's not because I'm a Bernie Sanders fan. I mean, it's on, on, it's on the contrary. But, you know, to clarify it, um, I believe that this guy was involved in the Bernie Sanders campaign in order to keep tabs on their activities and in order to leak their information to the Clinton campaign um, between both from the primaries through uh, March 2017. The reason I say this is because on Rachel Maddow's clip about this story, there appears a Facebook post from March 19th, 2017 of one of the people, Jim Boydston, uh, who was one of the delegates claiming that Indivisible, which is a uh, it's a so-called grassroots organization is funded by George Soros. So if he, if he was talking about this uh, in March 2017, what does that have to do with the election? The election was already four months, five months earlier. So the evidence presented on screen has nothing to do with the election. The, the evidence presented on screen has nothing to do with Russian hacking. The people that were represented on screen by the by Rachel Maddow are all flesh and blood people from, from here in the US, from California more specifically. And the election itself in California, if you, he wants to make the case for Russian manipulation, Hillary Clinton outperformed the polls by 6% in California. She was supposed to win by only 22 points. Uh, when I checked, it was 20, 28 points she won by. So the guy basically sold his story to Ryan Grimm of TYT, who, and, and by the way, BuzzFeed on election day ran a story that featured him, but they said they admitted that there was no evidence of what he said. They were right. basically admitting, well, we're going to show some rumors here, <laughs> you know. So then, then a few months later, he, he gets his hooks in Ryan Grimm, and since then he hasn't looked back, and he's sharing it all over the Internet. So, you know, my, my, my job, I think, is to share the, the counter story across the Internet, and I think the counter story will reveal that this guy is kind of some he's either a con artist or he's a affi he's affiliated with some pretty shady characters from within the government and within the democratic party interesting that's fantastic i um yeah so i that's something that i'll definitely check out i will uh i can contact ha can you is it easy for you to like get uh, several of these people uh, together at one time for a stream or is it kind of like they just did their one-time interviews and that was it they're usually available I, I can i've tried to put them in contact with you guys so you know they're usually available in the mornings on on uh, fridays okay we we so might it's possible two, we've two got more emails all right i'll i'll look for them What's and that? we get like a million emails so it's possible that they've emailed us so I'll, we'll uh we'll look through and see because it would be interesting if we could set up a stream with a couple of them and you and then because uh, i'd like to uh i think i mentioned this last time you called if if we went over portions of the clip uh the because i remember when i did this video i think that would be interesting because this is you you basically have people here that were victimized by uh, MSNBC uh, and they're willing to talk about it. I think that's a, that's a really good um, stream. So I'll look in the email, see if they've contacted us and, and let you know if they have. And then if well, not, we I, can I, I included you out. on the chain. So um, you should be, I'll send you the email of, of Adrian's undercover call right now. Was that the chain? Okay. There, and, I, um, was that the chain with... Um, the chain with Jamal Thomas. 
And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I think, now in that one, I, I at one point I asked, cause Chains like fucked me up. I, I was like, is, is any of this being directed at me? And I think Jamal was like, no, we have a, we're doing like an interview. And I was like, oh, okay. So I can, I have that though. I do have that. I'll go back and look at it. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, that sounds good. I, um, and I guess, so, it, so is there going to so be a follow up you... with this guy or the, that's pretty much, you got your kind of, you, you got him to say what he said. And now it's kind of trying to figure out, um, if possible, whether he's bullshitting or not. Well, let, let me, let me put it this way. Um, HB, you know, I'm not making myself out to be, you know, friggin' Albert Einstein, but this sure. guy is pretty much technologically illiterate. And um, the fact that he took a call from Adrian, who I made up a fake Canadian name, like the most Canadian name you could come up with, Grant sure. McKinnon. Right. Never screened him. He was on email chains with him for like a week. Wow. And still took his call and was on the phone with him for 45 minutes. Uh, I think I'm going to try to do an encore sometime if I can sure. find a way, but uh, I need to find another. I'm not going to use the same guy. It would be wrong. Sure. Oh, right. No, that makes sense. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, definitely. All right, so yeah, let's, let's be in touch. So and I'll, I'll send you this. Out. I'll send you this undercover video, and then I'll I'll um, forward some other stuff to you, and and just get in touch with these. Just just uh, you can get in touch with me through email, and I'll I'll put you in touch with these people. Okay, cool. That sounds good. All right, man. Thank you very much for the All call. Right, have a good night. Great work. All right, thank you very much. Take it easy. All right, take care. Yeah, it's bold like a leopard. He's an H and contributor. It, people, I, I, I didn't uh, in the beginning kind of do a good job of uh, explaining what the story is. Um, a while ago, Rachel Maddow did a segment where she claimed that um, Russian bots were infiltrating the Bernie Sanders uh, Facebook group, and she showed screenshots with people. Uh, anyway, th it was bullshit. It wasn't true, and. Um, Bold Like a Leopard has been able to uh, track down uh, these people and there's been interviews apparently Jamal Thomas uh, had an interview um, he's interviewed them and then apparently this is completely new this to me um, the an undercover uh, well, what would you call it like a yeah I guess like undercover journalism or whatever talking to this guy that works for David Brock or allegedly works for David Brock um, so I, I think that this would be a really good stream if we can get a couple of the people involved, uh, go over certain parts of the segment, because um, I think any time we have people that are defamed by the media, uh, giving as much of a voice as possible to that is great. Um, when you get a chance, Winston, if you could send me the, the I think there's a couple of Hard News Network uh, super chats. All right, I think, uh, what was the one that was... Uh, 